should we look to to Wales for any lessons learned around the introduction of tenancy reform in England? Should we? Right, that's a very very good question. It's, it's um, a difficult one. <laughs> and one which I imagine uh, comes off the back of the much lauded news at the end of May that um, the planned introduction to tenancy reform in Wales, and that was due in, in July, um, but that's now been postponed until December the 1st. So planned changes in Wales, you know, those included minimum six month notice period for landlords to enter tenancy, tenants one month when it was in a periodic state, important to note periodic state. Now, you know, changes like this are obviously aimed at increasing protection for tenants. You know, there's, there's there's no surprises there. But I guess, you know, if anything can be learned from our experience in date to Wales, and, you know, this really is super important. So, you know, it's a great question is, you know, it surely has to be that when fundamental changes to housing legislation like this are being drafted and implemented, it's essential that key stakeholders such as landlord and industry groups are engaged from the outset, not when you're planning to introduce it, but from the outset. You know, underestimating the complexity and nuances around the letting and management of property and therefore the time required, you know, to, well, you know, to formulate well-considered and rounded policy, to underestimate that, you know, risks the level of confusion and uncertainty that, you know, certainly in my experience, um, you know, has dogged, you know, the Renting Home Wales Act to date. And, and of course, you know, when the time comes, detailed guidance and adequate time for landlords and agents to implement change, you know, those are also essential.